lot of y'all that have been following me for a while probably don't know what a dry washer is. Well, I'm going to show you guys just the basics of what a dry washer is and how you use one. And um, how it finds gold. Alright guys, so this is pretty much a classic design dry washer right here. Uh, an old school prospector made this. For it's basically made up of three parts. Okay, you've got your puffer box. Which is right here. Flip a switch, it goes on. Okay, you got your bellows. It's a bellows is what it is. Bellows design. And then you got your sluice area, which is in here. I'll show you in a second. You got your hopper box. All right. Now the puffer is controlled by a 12 volt motor. Most likely and usually it's going to be a uh, windshield wiper motor for these home belt projects. Okay, it's battery operated. You can see down there, you've got a nice little windshield motor. Has a hub built onto it. A lot of these guys are home built, okay? Because um, these can be pretty expensive machines here. And then you've got a nice wheel, big wheel here uh, that's belt driven to be able to slow down the speed. Here's your hopper. Just throw everything in there. It throws the big rocks out. We're not really expecting to find nuggets bigger than that, but if a nugget did fall out, you would sure as heck see it right down there in the bottom, gleaming in the sun. Okay, once it goes into the hopper, it's going to feed out of the hopper and into this tray. This tray is made with riffles. You can see here. Unlike a water-driven sluice, which works on a kind of an eddy current, Water driven sluice catches gold on the bottom side of a riffle. Dry washer catches on the top side. Now, how's it catching? How's it separating? Through a combination of shaking, vibrating, and puffing of this bellow, it throws the lights and fines and the sand up to the top. Also, the rocks just kind of float over the top. Now, I've ran about four buckets this morning. And you guys can see the black sand poking out there. It's holding all that black sand under there, okay? We know black sand is heavy. It's metallic and it's generally where uh, gold lies, if it's in the dirt, if it's a gold bearing dirt. So this is a screen, very, very thin. Some people use like a muslin. This actually is a, is a really nice screen. Whoever built this, built it very nicely. It's got a really nice screen and it's backed by quarter inch uh, chicken wire to be able to uh, support all of the weight so that it'll it'll last longer, you know, support the weight of the dirt as it's puffing. Inside the bellows, you've got a, a little flapper on the bottom. On the bottom of this so here, here you can see where it turns. Inside here's where it turns. And it's puffing. And like I said, it's shaking, so it's vibrating all the heavies down low. As you can see there, the sand's passing right over top. And even the small particles of black sand are holding tight right there, while larger rocks are floating right over the top. We know there's gold in here right now. We've been getting gold in this area. So that's how a dry washer works. All it is is just a combination of puffing air, vibration, and shaking, and whatnot like that, and just slowly works the material over the edge there. Let me show you guys in real time as I load a bucket. All the sand just puffing right up to the top. Sometimes I keep the tailings and I just throw them right in right afterwards. With a dry washer, it's not as efficient as a sluice. They're known to lose around somewhere around 20-30% um, of, the, of the gold that's going to run through them. There you go, there's a bellows puffer dry washer.